Hey, how's it going? My name is Dustin Hudson and I'm going to show you a few quick tips in Element 3D. So one common question that's come up is how to save your own material presets in Element 3D. Now you probably know about the Pro Shaders Pack. It's a collection of textures and element presets to use on your 3D models in Element. Now what if you want to create your own? Well, I'll show you how to do that. So if you go to the Material and Bevel browser, you can right click and make a new material. Now there's one other way to make a material, which usually comes up a bit more often than actually right clicking. So you can right click on this and just delete that for now. You can go to the primitives folder under models in the model browser. And I'm just going to pick one of these spheres. I'm going to pick the sphere HD. And I'm just going to set my lights to default. And it kind of has this bluish tint to it, but I'm going to right click on it and hit reset. Now I'm just going to open up a folder real quick and I'm going to go to documents, video copilot, and then materials. And I have saved out this folder that has just a concrete texture that I got off the web and I cropped it to 2048 by 2048. It's just 2K quality. I also have a normal and an occlusion map and a specular. Now the normal map, occlusion map, and specular map were made in a program called Crazy Bump. Now I'm not going to go over that today, but it's a really cool program. If you haven't heard of it, I would recommend checking it out. So I'm just going to take this diffuse, which is the color, and I'm going to drag it. I have my material selected. I'm going to take it and drag it right onto the diffuse. I'm going to take the specular and drop it right in the specular. And I'm going to take the normal and drop it right in the normal bump slot. Now I'm not going to use occlusion just for now. You can if you want in your example, but I tend to not use them a lot. So, And by default, it'll be on draft textures. You can just shut that off and it will load them at full quality if they look blurry. Now if we go down to the basic settings, you can start changing some stuff. We can change the specular. You can start to see that it looks a little shinier. And if we increase the shininess, we can increase the radius that the specular shows up at. And if we change the specular, that changes the intensity of the spec. You can play around with that. You can change the default lights to one of these presets. Dramatic one's cool. Um, you can play with the brightness as well. And then you can mess around with all your settings and make them how you want. And once you've got that how you would like it to look, after messing around with the settings, you can right click on it and go to Save as Material Preset. So I have this concrete folder that I made that's the same folder from the documents. So you can just name it whatever you want. And then all you do is hit OK. So it has now saved the material preset at your documents, and this is it right here. So if we were to hit OK, and there it is in our comp, if we go back to it, and we go to Presets, and we go to Materials, and this is our concrete folder that we made. So if we were to reset everything right now, reset all button, that just resets the whole element window. We can pick a new model and we can go to our presets folder and our concrete materials right here. And you can right click and hit either add to selected model or add to scene. I'm going to do add to scene. And then what you can do is you can take this and drag it onto your model material slot. It looks a bit stretched right now. I would go to the texture mapping options. When you click on the object, a few of these options come up. And under texture mapping, you can change it to box preserve aspect ratio, and that typically straightens things out pretty good. And now you have a custom material that you can use in any project in Element 3D. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.